Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. In this video, I don't actually know exactly what number it's gonna be yet because it's gonna be a bit of a process. So we're just outside the two containers, but we've got some exciting news because we've just started to level out the ground here um, because we're gonna get a third container. So we're not sure exactly when it's gonna be finished and up and running, but we're hoping just to show you guys uh, exactly how we put the container together and how we farm crickets with it. So let's get to the video. All right, so it looks a little bit different, but we've just got our third container. It rocked up about a week ago and you would have seen it on the Instagram, but this is all our insulation that we're about to put in and we're just prepping the container on the inside so we've got a 40 foot shipping container this one is a just a normal shipping container so no insulation which is why we have to buy all of this from Viroclad. Uh, we we're not against buying insulated containers like these two just here uh, they're both insulated containers already so we didn't have to insulate them and then but this one's just a normal shipping container too it just depends on the price at the given time so sometimes you can get insulated containers for cheaper and sometimes you're just better off buying a normal container and insulating yourself and it's about the same price. So um, a couple of other things that we like about buying just normal shipping containers is because you don't have the unit, the actual cooling unit on the back and you get a little bit of extra space too. And then by also having the insulation on the side here, you can insulate it yourself. But what we're doing today is uh, my dad, the old man, he's already started to hook up some of the wiring and the power points. So we try to have at least three power points throughout the container. So we've got one down there and then we've got another two here. So this is where our air con's gonna go, but we're actually gonna put it down the bottom this time. And the container looks absolutely massive when it's empty and there's no crickets going on in here. So yeah, this is cool. And then today we're just gonna put all this lining along the edges and then once we get that lining in then we can start slotting in our insulation just here so we'll get cracking on that it's going to be a bit of a process but we're very excited all right i'll give you a bit of a look on the inside of the container because we've now just put all the railings in on the side here but we've also just started to put our insulation in That back panel is always a bit of a pain to get in because obviously you have to put it in first and then push it all as one back in there and try and like light it up with the skirting down the bottom. So it can be quite tough, but we managed to get it in there. And then all we have to do now is just give the floor a quick vacuum because uh, now we've just got to seal all the bottom bits in between these grooves just to keep the heat in. Not sure if you're able to see it on camera, but there's light actually coming through. Yeah, you can just see it. So there's a bit of light coming through the floor. So we're just gonna make sure we keep it all nice and tight to keep the heat in. So yeah, that's the job now. And then the next thing that you'll see on camera will be us with a bit of a time lapse, putting the rest of these side panels in all the insulation. So let's get into it.
quick little update. So we've managed to get all the panels in and it just looks amazing now that we've finally got all the panels in. Still have to do a few power points up here. Um, so we've put all the iron up on the side here, the angle iron. And then we've had to also, you can see we've had to silicone it, that's just a bit of dirt, don't worry, we'll clean that off. Um, we've had to also silicone all the edges and the floor is still a little bit dead here with the silicone, but that won't matter too much because now we've just got to paint and seal all the edges here. So we've just got like a, something you can use in your tiles back at home. Um, but yeah, we've just got to go along all the edges here now and make sure the floor is as sealed as possible, just to keep as much heat in as we can. So we'll get to painting right now.
Alrighty, so while the floor dries, we're just going to be over here in the shed making up the actual containers that the crickets live in. So, if you would have seen on the channel previously, you've got these 1,000 litre shuttles, and what they end up turning into is something a little like this. It's pretty simple, all you need is two shuttles like that, and then you just cut the front off. So, you can see the bottom floor just there, we've had to cut off two sections, one, two, makes a hole and then we only one that time and then they repeat the same process again and then we stack them on top of each other so that's what we've got going on back here for the next couple of hours.
Alrighty, so we are now over. All right, we are over at the containers now, and we are just outside because what we have here is pretty much a nearly fully completed container. So you would have seen in the last little snippet, and it's also been a little bit of a time skip as well. We have, you know, our nice new door just here, and our light switch. Flick that on. We've still got to put some more strip lighting in but we have officially just quickly turned on this container and started heating it up so we're running it at 28 degrees at the moment so it just warmed up like flicked it on two minutes ago but as you can see we have completed all our just gonna clean that off there but we've completed all our actual breeding tubs that we'll be using for our next container and it looks pretty specky but we have also put in the split system aircon so this thing we've actually last time we had it up a little bit high we decided to put it about halfway so the hot air is a little bit closer and can shoot along the front and now all we pretty much need to do is put a fan system in so we can circulate the air in and around the container so looking pretty good Okay, while this heats while this heats up, we will just take a little look from the outside. Give it all air in just quickly. Yeah, switch the light off. Alright, and as you can see we've got the seating bar out because it's getting close to seating time here on the farm. But that was our second container just there, and this is our third one. Looking pretty schmick from the side. And obviously our first one back in there, but this is like a little bit of a facility update as well about what we've got going, so. And that's the split system aircon out the back, but eventually what we wanna do is put, you know, a bunch more containers all lined up along here and keep building along. And then eventually we will put in a bit more of a processing bay because we do all our processing just in between the sheds just here. But when we start to move more of the human consumption side of crickets, we will actually build a bit more of a kitchen and facility set up where we can wash, freeze, dehydrate, roast the crickets. And we'll probably build that a little bit further out there. But for now, we'll just keep escalating in size with more containers and keep going from there. So, but. The other reason why we came out was what we're going to do with this container now is all of our crickets in here because we're not using that, that's just storage. This is all our adult crickets. And this container is starting to get pretty full so as you can see this is one of our breeding tubs just here. Cricket's just going absolute berserk, all up the back there. It's really, really good to see that the population is just still increasing, still booming. Look at that. And then, yeah, we, um, we have nearly fully filled this container. So, um, down this end, obviously, we've got a few pinheads here too. I'll um, quickly show you that. So this is like a pinhead bin, just here. Yeah, also down here as well. But we have officially nearly filled up this full container, so this one hasn't started hatching yet. And this is also empty, and those other two along there are empty. And these are the last three bins that we actually have. So, and then it will be full. These guys are our older, like the most oldest crickets that we have. Down this is an end here, so most of them are starting to die. But yeah, once we fully finish um, filling up the rest of these tubs here, we will then start moving all of our breeding soils from, say, this bin, and once when they've actually started to lay and hatch, then we'll move. <coughs> oh, sorry, up here. I'll use this as a better example. We so say once all the crickets have laid into this breeding soil. What we've normally been doing is just chucking them down that end there, but 
Now what we're going to do is take all of these breeding soils out and actually take them next door over here and what we might do with this container is we might actually crank up the humidity as well so we're normally running about that 60 to 65 but recently we've just tried cranking that container up to 75 percent humidity and we're finding that the overall growth rate has just been like going out of control so, but you do have to be careful with mold as well because we do notice an increase in mold in that container. I had to do a big clean up the other day, so we might turn it down, but as a little bit of a trial. Alrighty, what we want to do in this container, and as you can see, it is still a nice 28 degrees in here, but eventually what we want to do in this container is have it all just for pinheads and for early development and growth. And the container next door is just purely gonna be for breeders and breeders only. And what we will eventually trial in here is a couple different sections. So we might split this section just in half down here and we'll put a sheet down the middle and then we'll use these two just purely for breeding and we'll pump the humidity up just in this container and just run some different experiments with the pinheads with a really high humidity as well uh, versus a really low one. And then we'll just have, you know, just different little bits and pieces going on as well. So it's gonna be really, really cool. And I think by the time we have 36 bins breeding next door and this will fill up within, you know, a couple months and then by that time we better have a few more shipping containers ready to go. So yeah, it's gonna be really, really cool and this container is looking pretty nice. So we'll get the crickets coming in here very shortly. That is pretty much everything that we do to set up one of our cricket containers. It's a really, really simple process. It's a little bit time consuming, especially when you have to knock up all this, but if you do wanna set up a container as well, you can follow what we do. Um, you don't obviously have to do the shelving like this, you can get different shelving, but for the insulation and the actual container itself, it works really, really well. And yeah, the last thing, obviously we still gotta put up this strip light just here, but you know, that's not a huge issue because we can start putting crickets in here straight away. And yeah, that is everything. Thank you guys for checking in um, and watching this full video if you made it this far. It's, it's a pretty long one, so. Um, we really appreciate the support on the channel. We've cracked like 550 subscribers. If you do have any questions, uh, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I do get a lot of people actually sending emails to me with questions, but if you actually put them up on the YouTube channel, then I can answer them there. And if anyone else has the same question, they can flick through the comments and have a look. So that's just a little like, but obviously I'm still gonna reply to the emails as well. And yeah, um, cool, we'll, um, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you later.